हे गाइज वेलकम टू कंसेप्ट ऑफ साइंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुप इनहेरिटेंस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टेक ऑल द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पेरेंट्स दैट आर पॉसिबल अ फ्यू टर्म्स दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड आर एलील्स एलील्स आर जीन्स जीनो टाइप इज द जेनेटिक कंपोजिशन लेट अस टेक द एग्जाम्पल्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ब्लड ग्रुप इज इनहेरिटेड हियर द मदर हैज़ प्रोवाइडेड द जीन फॉर द ब्लड ग्रुप ए इफ इट इज रिटर्न ए इट मीन्स she has provided the dominant gene for the blood group a father has provided the dominant gene for the blood group a it means father has also provided the same so the genetic composition of the offspring is a a dominant dominant and hence a will be expressed and the blood group of the child will be a in the second case she has provided dominant a father has provided dominant b so the offspring is having the blood group ab because in this case there will be codominance and both will express their characteristics in the third case the mother has provided the dominant a and the father has provided the recessive gene a will be expressed and o will be suppressed hence the blood group of the children will be a but he will be having a recessive gene of blood group o oh. in the fourth case the mother has dominant b the father has dominant a the children will have ab composition of the gene and the blood group of the children will be ab in this case the mother will be having b dominant the father will also be giving b dominant the blood group of the children will be b because the genetic composition says that the children is having both dominant b in this case the mother will be providing dominant b the father will be providing recessive o so the blood group will be b because b will be expressed and o will be suppressed so the blood group of the children will be b in the last case both will be providing the recessive gene for blood group and the offspring will be o let us take an example and try to understand more although all the examples are covered on that table but we will try to understand one particular individual suppose there is a man having a blood group a in which he has both the genes dominant the female has dominant b blood type so the offspring will always be ab no matter what the offspring will be ab if the offspring is having any other blood group it proves that the offspring is not the children of these two people now let us take another example suppose the male has blood group a he has recessive and dominant a now female has b where she has dominant b and recessive gene so the offspring can be ab a b or o all the type of blood group possible in this case if you know the exact blood group of parents then you can easily determine the blood group of the children this technique is used to determine the paternity test i will be making another video in which i will try to explain the rh factor if you heard some terms in this video that you do not understand or you do not understand why the blood group is determined by two genes then go through my earlier video that i have made in which i have tried to explain what is blood group and how it is determined thanks for watching Please subscribe. Have a nice day.